is some pyrolysis soil, very thick, very thick oil, but not so dirty. It's settled for a couple of months now, and we're running the distiller. It's continuous used motor oil distiller. Currently, as I said, processing some pyrolysis oil. His units just switch it on, setting up, set it to. 410 but there's a, some sort of inertia it's, the elements bring it up to 418 degrees but should be 410 I found this particular oil start to form at temperatures more than 410 degrees and it start to push good oil out of reactor into this bucket yeah, now I'm testing, just use this bucket and I can reuse it again. So it's been primed, it's pushed all the good oil. Now I found the setting for this particular type of oil. I'm trying to get the best quality. I made it 8 kilowatt. It can be more productive if I would run it at higher temperature with different type of oil. Currently I set it at quality. I want just the quality oil. Just a second, I'll show you the flow. Is the oil. I'll try to increase the temperature and see if I would be able to increase the production of the oil. I suspect that the thermal control is not correct. Try to increase to 430 degrees. Now set it up at 440 because I believe that control is lying, it's wrong about the temperature and possibly the temperature is much lower than I think, much lower than it shows. So 440 possibly 410, 420 maximum, so here's a production rate. The controller isn't correct, it's got a big gap between the actual temperature and the set temperature, it should be keeping the stuff at 445 but it's at 452. Even now it's still randomly switching on and off, but anyway sounds to be quite stable. I use another oil right now. This oil is not prone to foaming. Running quite okay. No issues so far. Now temperature drops but the system is not switched on. It should be heating up right now but it doesn't. Now it starts. 
Yeah, it's just big fluctuation. And it's off again. So the control is not correct at all. <laughs> 